Retired Justice Paul Anderson, why is why is the entire capital restoration project needed now? Uh, the capital was deteriorating. You know, I just recently retired, and I have a whole number of household projects that were lined up. And I realized that once I started those projects, there were a whole lot more because the house had deteriorated from lack of attention. Just like your own house deteriorates if you don't pay attention to it. The capital has deteriorated, particularly the last decade and a half, because of lack of attention. It's needed, and it's needed now, if we are to preserve this legacy building. Why has this project become a political issue? I don't know. I, you know, it sometimes is beyond me. I mean, uh, I, I think that, and, and my Norwegian niece told me about this. I was uh, criticizing the Republicans for uh, criticizing the project. She said, well, not all Republicans oppose it. You shouldn't be so broad-based. And she focused me on is that the disingenuousness of some of the leaders who are using this as a political football. And I think the public needs to very much scrutinize those who are criticizing it. I tell young people, seek out and engage in conversation who have different conclusions, different opinions. But watch out for those who cherry-pick their facts to support a preconceived conclusion. They aren't worth your time. And I see a lot of people out there misleading the public of the state of Minnesota by cherry-picking certain facts, facts on this project to support a preconceived political notion that they will have some, see, have some advantage. That is why I'm passionate about this. I will engage, oh, you asked me earlier about, is criticism helpful? I can't understand why some of the Republicans aren't out front and center and said that we as a loyal opposition stood up and criticized some aspects of this project. And you know what happened as a result of that criticism? It got better. So not only should the proponents be out front instead of being so timid about this project, they should say, we have done something positive for the state of Minnesota and there should be Republicans standing right next to him. You did, and we made it better. That's what this is all about. In what way is the Capital Restoration Project a legacy issue for future generations? Oh, now you touched the nerve. I'm a historian. My great-grandfather and my grandfather were part of the generation that led to the building of this capital. See, John Prine said it well, he said, uh, he said, Grandpa was in his song, Grandpa was a carpenter. I look it up on the internet. In fact, Grandpa was a carpenter. But there's a line that says, and he voted for Eisenhower because Lincoln won the war. See, I'm a Eisenhower voter when I was a kid, and I was raised in a household of Lincoln Republicans. And that's during the last part of the 19th century, early 20th, that's where the vision came from. It was the Lincoln Republicans who built this legacy building. They were honoring the Civil War generation, which they viewed as the greatest generation. So that's why I can't understand why there's Republican criticism of preserving what my ancestors, the Lincoln Republicans, designed and built as a legacy project. So. I'm here, I'm here for my grandpa, I'm here for my grandfather, because they were part of the generation and had the vision to leave something that has a legacy, and I want to be part of something also. I want to be part of preserving their legacy and adding to it. Thank you, retired Justice Paul H. E. Anderson.